Thank you for uh, attending my session. Uh, my, I'm Seiji Akatsuka from Japan. And uh, this is the first time for me to deliver my presentation in WorkCamp. So I'm very happy to, uh, to be able to uh, uh, take part in Singapore, uh, WordPress Singapore. So let me uh, introduce myself briefly. I'm working for Digital Cube as Customer Success Manager and member of WorkCamp Tokyo this year. And it will be held on November 1st and 2nd. So, so pr please come and visit Japan. There are uh, 1,000 people, more than 1,000 people will attend the event. So you can find and uh, find and make a many, a uh, lot of friends through attending some sessions and uh, a variety of activities and also uh, some, some party in Japanese ka real karaoke. And this is uh, organizer, one of the organizers <laughs> who <would> camp <laughs> Singapore, yeah. Okay, and uh, this is my agenda. I'd like to talk about why, how, what using Jamstack approach to WordPress. Firstly, ja uh, I'd like to share about the reason why, uh, why I'd, I'd like to recommend it. Jamstack is an architecture which can make our website more faster, easier to manage, uh, cheaper to scale and more secure. So it uh, provides us much better user experiences. So uh, that's why it's better to try this approach in some specific cases. In use uh, Jamstack to WordPress, there are three elements. Uh, Jamstack, uh, a new architecture for uh, web developers on, the, on your left side, and the people who are publishing articles like me is on the right side. And in the middle, there is a way to connecting uh, Jamstack and people in, uh, is WordPress. So uh, let's dig a uh, little, little deeper to these elements. So uh, first element is Jamstack. According to Jamstack project, uh, it offers us a, a new web, web developing architecture uh, based on JavaScript, client-side JavaScript, and reusable APIs, which handle data transfer and the communication between uh, microservices, and pre-built markups. So basically, uh, using J Jamstack to WordPress, some, uh, some kinds of plugins, uh, like uh, e-commerce, uh, marketing, and some, some other uh, features, uh, which need uh, data transfer and PHP must be uh, uh, must be updated to uh, some, uh, some microservices. And this is a uh, basic architecture for uh, Jamstack. Uh, all the code is uh, are distributed to CDN to reduce, time, uh, reduce load time of each pages. So Jamstack website do not need to uh, rely on server-side code so they, uh, they, uh, they can be uh, distributed to uh, CDN much easier. And also can uh, uh, deploy all, every version of site uh, whenever we want. And sometimes uh, generating static markups takes, takes a few minutes or more. So we need to do atomic deployment, like blue-green deployment, to, to eliminate downtime during Jamstack's uh, uh, Jamstack uh, deployment. So uh, Jamstack website uh, fits these, these cases. For example, uh, company site, landing page, and job site are typical cases. Because uh, these are uh, almost stable. And seasonable catalog sites are usually updated once or, or twice a year. And for the event, when we are done on uh, our, uh, our tasks, uh, we do not update it anymore. And second element is people who are publishing articles. Jamstack is a wonderful idea for web developer and visitor for, for our website. However, if I, I were in this situation, I'd like to ask to use uh, Gutenberg or any other st uh, page builders. So, uh, 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 because I need to put a lot of blog posts uh, uh, almost every day. And I, I like to ask to my colleague to, to check my posts because it is the best way for me to, to collaborate with each other. 
for the last element is WordPress. I think WordPress is a bridge between Jamstack and people who are publishing articles because we can use uh, uh, great page builders, uh, manage posts, and uh, uh, great beautiful themes, and useful thing, uh, useful plugins, and also can use uh, also can use uh, uh, WordPress dashboard translated into uh, multinational languages by WordPress community. These are uh, inalterable values of WordPress. And my second topic is how can we bring Jamstack to WordPress? I'd like to share about three patterns. Uh, there, uh, this is the simplest pattern to, uh, to go static uh, because there are a lot of plugins to, to translate to uh, static and also can deploy to static site hosting like Amazon S3, Netlify, GitHub Pages, and so on. It is a good idea to use uh, these plugins because we can easily try a, a Jamstack approach uh, with our uh, previous site. And second approach is to use headless WordPress and static site generators because uh, it is a good idea for web, web developers who, pre, uh, who used to static site generator like Gatsby JS because uh, it can use many kinds of data sources, including uh, WordPress. And so they can, uh, they can choose their favorite static site generator. And their clients also uh, use uh, WordPress as uh, 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 manage, post, uh, manage posting as, as usual. And third pattern is to use uh, these uh, all-in-one all -in hosting services. It is the uh, easiest way to, to go static, not only for webs, uh, WordPress developers, but also static site generators uh, 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 people. Uh, because we don't need to care about any, uh, any server-side environment. And WordPress also updated uh, automatically. So uh, these services consist of uh, managed hosting for WordPress, static site generator, and static hosting service. And some service like, uh, like Shifter has uh, integrated to other environments like Netlify and also integrated to static site generator like GitHub pages, uh, GitHub, uh, uh, other, uh, other static site generators. So, um, uh, I think these services expand WordPress ecosystem to outside the WordPress developers. And my uh, final topic is about what changes can Jamstack make for WordPress. The biggest change is that PHP cannot work in this environment. For example, when we are using uh, use some uh, contact form on, on our website, we need to use some, uh, some alternative way to enable it because PHP cannot handle data transfers. And also other features like search, comments, e-commerce, and other features which need data transfer and PHP uh, must, be, uh, must be replaced with some alternative ways. So uh, Jamstack uh, refocused the server-side dynamic rendering uh, via PHP to static site, uh, client side static site, uh, client dynamic site, uh, dynamic rendering via JavaScript and API, APIs. In conclusion, I mentioned about these things. Firstly, uh, Jamstack provides us much better user experiences. That's why it's better to use these, uh, these approaches in some specific cases. And secondly, there are many ways to bring Jamstack to WordPress. I mentioned about three patterns. And lastly, Jamstack refocused the server-side dynamic rendering via PHP to client-side dynamic rendering via J JavaScript and APIs. It makes our website more faster, easier to manage, cheaper to scale, and, and more secure. So let's bring Jamstack to WordPress community to make our, all of our collaborators happy. Thank you very much. Uh, we still have five minutes. Uh, yeah. uh, one, 
does the Jamstack, how does it work for you? Does it use PHP? I know that both us use PHP. I still a bit confused. I don't understand. Yes, uh, Jamstack uh, PHP, uh, Jamstack WordPress uh, uh, use static site generator. So uh, website uh, converts uh, PH, uh, WordPress, dynamic WordPress website to static HTML and provide uh, uh, through CDN. So basically Jamstack use HTML? Yes, static markup, they say. CDN. Yes, yes. Then if it doesn't have a CDN service, then we use it. Uh, uh, sorry. We only have end to end, and we don't have a CDN in the middle. How do we use that? Uh, uh, sure. If they don't have a CDN, how do they use that? Uh, they can use the CDN to create a website. We don't have CDN. Uh, we usually have. Uh, we, we always use uh, some uh, Netlify and any other uh, CDN service. Yeah, so caching is very important. Any final questions? Thank you. Ah yes, uh, it's the uh, most important question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think there are some service, SaaS service, uh, Shop, Shopify, and, and uh, uh, just simple uh, uh, shopping cart is okay. But uh, if you need a full scale uh, shopping site like WooCommerce, it doesn't work in, in uh, on Jamstack environment because it it needs a uh, very difficult to control cash cash control. Okay. Everyone, put your hands together for Seiji. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh.